Okay, so we have quite a convoluted looking expression here that we're supposed to factor. So when we see something like this, lots of terms, lots of variables, we can stop and look for patterns. In other words, if we were to see a couple of things that maybe we could work into a difference of squares or into a quadratic that worked out nicely in itself, but I don't see that here. So I think probably the best bet is I noticed that there are some like terms in here. So maybe let's clean that up first. So I recognize that and that as like terms. In other words, they both have an X and they both have one Y. And so whether it's X, Y or Y, X, it doesn't matter. But we can bring those two together and we'd end up with minus five and I'll do it as X, Y, just to be typical there. Um, what else? Let's see, we have x squared y, in other words, two x's and one y, and we only have one of those, so let's put that down. And then we have one x and two y's, and that's in these two terms here, so let's put those together. We end up with negative three x y squared. So we got it a little bit simpler here. Um, what we could do is we could reorder this um, just to make it look a little more typical. And so normally our default is to get the x squared term out the front and then we'd have the y squared term here and maybe a xy out to the end there. And so looking at it now, I do notice that it has an xy in every one of these terms. So if we were to pull out the xy, and we can double check, um, we have an x squared, an x, and an x. So um, the lowest uh, power is just an x, so that's good enough. The y, we have a y, a y squared, and a y. So again, the lowest power is just a y. So having the xy out front, that looks sensible. So uh, x, y times what gives us our first term? Well, that would have to be an x. And x, y times what gives us our second term? Well, we need a, a three in there, negative three. Uh, we also need another y. So there we go there. And x, y times what gives us this last term? And that would be a negative five. And so there we go. We have it all factored out there. And um, if we wanted to double check, we could multiply this out and make sure it came out equivalent to our second step there. But we're all factored.